John and Morton Edgar. Okay, so they so known they they know they are known as the Edgar brothers. Okay, so these were two British um, guys um, that came into Egypt in 909 to measure the Great Pyramid. Now, apparently, if you back then, if you wanted to to go to the pyramid and take some measures, you, you can just ask permission and they they will grant you, right? Uh, it looks like like I mean, it seems like anybody could just do it, right? Um, but they had another mission. Their mission was a different mission, I think. Well, they were not just there to measure the pyramid. They were there to prove uh, a case, to prove a point, to prove a theory. Uh, they belong to a legacy of thinkers um, that now we will call the alternative uh, thinkers, right? The alternative history thinkers. But back then, uh, yeah, they w we can actually say that 100 years ago, more than 100 years ago. But as you know, like as you know, we, you've been following me a, a bit these videos on the Great Pyramid. You know how far back in time the whole questions on the Great Pyramid uh, were raised um, about its origins and about who built, how, and and all of these things. So these are not recent things, but what we have, in, at least in, at this point, uh, in 1909, is these Edgar brothers that they come and um, so basically they want to prove a point. And the point is that the Great Pyramid was built by God and uh, was built by the Christian God or the Hebrew God, like it's the same God, right? Or the Muslim God, it's the same guy, right? Um, theory that came from Charles Russell. So it's not their theory, there's just probably there the, are the hands and the Charles Russell was the, head, the, the mind behind, behind this. Um, I'm gonna show you also why they are relevant for, for us uh, because normally I don't really buy much into these uh, alternative, alternative theories. I don't, I don't like you know, losing too much time to explain this. But this time I choose to do it because these two guys are really relevant for us. They are, they really cleared the subterranean chamber once and for all. Uh, so, so that's great. Uh, that's, uh, that's something that they did, you know, for, 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 for all of us. <laughs> and they took the very earliest pictures of the Great Pyramid. Now, obviously that's not true. Piazzi Smith took the very first ones. And we know we, we've talked about it, but these guys really did uh, an amazing report, an amazing photographic report, okay? So Piazza Smith really just focused on the exterior. We have just one picture of the interior in the Khufu chamber. Uh, but these guys really did a great photographic report. So we will go through the pictures uh, very soon. Uh, I just want, oh wait, just a second. I don't want you to lose my screen. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. Eh? So, your screen. Uh, wait. <laughs> it's a technical. Uh, this is very. I always record this uh, live, so uh, something can 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 always happen. Give me just a second. You can skip this part if you. <laughs> um, Edgar Brothers. Okay, so here it is. So I want to make this screen a little bit read mode. Yes, okay, we got it. Sorry, guys. So, um, so what do we need to know? This guy came in 19. This guy came in 1909 to Egypt. They got the permission, and they they wrote two books. The very first is the Great Pyramid Passages and Chambers, Volume One, and that's in 1910, like one year after. And in 1913, they published the second book. Now, the the two books are very relevant because the very first one is where they describe the pyramid and they, 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 they show these pictures, okay? Whether the second book is very interesting as well because they actually put the measures that they took and they put the correlations uh, from those measures to biblical references, okay? Uh, so again, they were fanboys of Charles Russell, like, you know, part of that Cassie Smith legacy, okay? Um, okay, so let's go through the through the pictures um, and see what what we what do we have. Uh, so 
external you know we have the casing stones here uh, as you as oh, we have the casing stones and you have you can see the sockle right this is the sockle this is the base of the pyramid okay so there are w two different ways of measuring the pyramid you either measure it from the from this outside line which is the sockle line or you measure it from the inside uh, of the casing stones here okay so so yeah just to just so you know so you can see how big are these blocks right <laughs> like 1.7 meter I mean whatever it's just yeah I, I'm still amazed about how, how, how people can be so confident on how <laughs> the Egyptian built this with uh, ramps and stuff uh, I, mean, I don't know how whatever we will go through we will go through the construction of the pyramid in a video uh, in one one or two months okay promise <laughs> uh so well this is the entrance and yeah i mean it's pretty similar to what is today now nowadays there are stairs going up so this is before the stairs were done so this is the robbers tunnel this is the original entrance um so nothing really changed that much oh this is uh, either uh <laughs> john or morton like one of the two <laughs> um so so uh, any 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 picture have a like here a little description so where where it was taken from so this is taken from the well shaft if i'm not wrong um yeah so it's true yeah um and yeah so since they cleared out all of this area you know now they could take pictures and i'm very thankful for them ah so this is the actual is this is the mouth of the horizontal of, of the small horizontal passage uh, from between the descending passage and the subterranean chamber and you can see there is this frame right so it's a it's a curious feature i never this is the first time i see this we see this uh ah, so this is a very curious guys so this piece uh was found like this okay so this is in the floor so these are two stones of the floor and now you can see in the middle there is this break so apparently the Egyptians they put it some concrete here and they continued engraving this line so this is what this was like a repair work done by the Egyptians now we don't know who did uh, maybe it was Ramses the second but who knows but so you can see right the actually the stone uh, is like this okay so this is I mean who can tell who did this right who can tell but yeah uh, but they found it. Uh, so uh, again, this is the uh, this is the very first. I think this is the very first picture of the subterranean chamber. Now this is why it's believed to be unfinished because first you will carve the ceiling a little bit and the walls, and then you will f carve the floor. Um, so you can see that there is a, a pit here. Okay, this pit, and um, I mean nothing has been found in this subterranean chamber um, it's really clueless <laughs> uh, and mysterious right uh, mysterious for us but maybe you know uh, we know that this was an it's 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 an unfinished um, unfinished uh, chamber you know uh, it's, it's the best explanation we have so I think here they 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 there is a in this uh, in this part here this is the entrance of the subterranean chamber and in here there is written some Atlantis stuff but obviously it was written by somebody in like uh, in the modern times but I think it's here um, so this is a this is a little tunnel that goes uh, to the south if I'm not wrong yes and um, but it leads nowhere right. So yeah, apparently. Ah, is this Atlantis here? Uh, you can't. No, it's not. It's not Britain. But yeah, it's Britain somewhere there. But it's not. You can't see from the picture. Um. So yeah. So they took a lot of pictures, and especially. Oh, this is the wow. This is beautiful. So this is the. This is exactly where, in principle, <laughs> Alma Moon would detect. You know, uh, will intersect both the uh, ascending and descending passage now right but yeah I mean I don't buy the Alma Moon story so 
so this is the actually the you know the intersection uh, that there is these days no, now you will pass through here as a tourist as a visitor um, when you go up in the in the, in the upper chambers um, but you will never be able to go like down there because down there uh, it's prohibited to go unless you have a special you know a permission which some people do but they pay a lot of money so now you can see here the, this granite plug uh, it's broken so uh, whoever got access to the uh, ascending passage here it broke this piece of granite now if it was like and i tell this against my personal belief is that if there was anybody just from from the uh, upper chambers going down and excavate a tunnel outwards you don't really need to break this granite plug you can just you know you know that the, you know the granite plug is there you can just excavate to the side and go up. this is why uh this is you know this is a point in favor of alma moon theory right so i don't know uh, i don't know so this is the plugs the, so there are three granite plugs okay this is the first one then the second and the third one and this is the third one now this is very contentious because we don't know if there was ever here uh, another plug a fourth plug that uh, that hided these upper systems because whoever was able to come to the descending passage and we know it was like um, this descending passage was known from the classical times already from the greek times um, whoever was able to access this will uh, for sure spot this um, stone missing and for sure they will then come here excavate to the side bypass the granite plugs and go up to the to the um, to the upper chambers right so who knows if there was ever a stone here uh, the matter of the fact is that um, there is no indication okay of a stone being here uh, but yeah so uh, I guess this you know this is pl so every, all, all you see here this is like sand and and, and, uh, and and yeah it's probably just sand and a little bit of earth or whatever and it's pl it's basically plugging the subterranean chamber so I, I suppose these pictures were taken before uh, they actually cleared all of the all, all of these descending uh, passage you know uh, and there is here you see this is a piece of granite and apparently this is was first reported by Flinders Petrie now I'm not sure what that piece of granite come from <laughs> you know uh, I don't think it comes from this like the fourth plug I don't I don't think it's that um, but yeah, if, if you know anything, guys, please let me know about this granite piece. I know History for Granite did uh, a full episode <laughs> on this piece of granite, so... But yeah. Um, then what? This is the drawing of the entrance, and I think it's the most detailed drawings we have so far. Um, now, a very curious thing is that they even go through the trouble of the drawing the... Um, what you will call the stereotomia, so the the, um, the the joints between the 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 blocks, right? So this is very useful because you you can see here there are you know two courses of of, of stone, and then suddenly the, the you know the design of the blocks change. And uh, why is that? You know, and apparently, if you see now this change, and then we know now in twenty twenty three that there is you know uh, the north the north face corridor here behind these two chevron blocks okay so what like and, and we don't know if that's a relieving chamber or not so what whatever there is in between the north face corridor and these entrance blocks um, we don't know but we know that there is a change in the joints here so that might indicate something but it doesn't indicate certainly doesn't indicate much to me <laughs> Um, okay, so this is great. So they they got through the trouble again. They got through the trouble of uh, drawing the joints of the um, uh, of the pyramid 
passages, okay? And they discover something very interesting, which is, you know, see, you see this, these are the, um, the joints unfolded of the ascending passage, okay? Uh, you can see like west wall, east wall, roof, roof and floor, okay? And uh, the curious thing is that there are four which they call girdle, okay? But it's basically, there are four um, stones, let's call it this way, four blocks that are not parallel to the, sorry, they are not orthogonal to the tunnel, but they are vertical um, in relation to, to the, they align with the axis of, of the vertical axis of the pyramid. And that's very strange. Uh, that's very strange because why? Why doing that? Uh, why this anomaly? Okay. So, yeah. If you have any 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 idea, let me know. Um, so great picture from from the from the outside. And apparently, this was taken from above the Mena House Hotel. So there was a hotel here, right? Uh, I don't know if there is still there the this building, but. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, okay. So this is very, very important. So as you can see, the um, this is the mouth of this is the portcullis of the king's chamber. Okay, and this is the we are in the grand gallery, and this is just basically this huge step that you have to make uh, that you have to you know climb uh, to reach the king's chamber. Now, uh, nowadays this is full of concrete. Uh, they call it, <laughs> they repaired it, but this is kind of curious, like why, why does he have this shape, this V shape? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really look like to me that this was done, you know, on purpose, right? It's not a design thing. Uh, also we can spot here, there is a little bit of a, um, uh, intrusion indication, right? Am I wrong? Like, do you agree? So this piece of stone is broken. So maybe, you know, the, the, this, you know, the mouth of the King's chamber was, was plugged and then they bypassed it through, through excavating that little, that this little part, right? So it's, it pretty, it's pretty complicated to understand what went, uh, <laughs> What, what happened to the pyramid over the millennia. So we don't know who did this, who broke this piece, but it certainly looks like it's a broken piece, right? It doesn't look like uh, it was uh, on purpose. Um, so let's go on, wait. Uh, so, so yeah, this is standing in between the portcullis uh, voids, because you know, in principle, this void was left to accommodate a granite um, monolith that will block the passage to the king's chamber. Now I still have to study the portcullis very well. I haven't really deep dived into it, but uh, um, but yeah. So this, you know, this is where you will have the portcullis. Um, this is you can see here one, two, three, four engraving on the stone. And so basically these engravings were left there by the builders to, uh, uh, how do you say, to... Um, well, that, I don't know how to say in English, but basically were just to, to get the <laughs> granite blocks, um, to get the granite blocks down. Also, you can see here, there is a broken piece in this part of the roof. So this is also another indication that had, they had to bypass this part. So it was not just the portcullis blocked but was also, probably was also this part here that was blocked with granite, granite plugs, right? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. If you, if you guys know anything, like, please write in the comments and yeah, let me know. They were having tea in the king's chamber, that's something, <laughs> that's quite something. Uh, now, it's interesting uh, the position of uh, where they are taking the tea because there's, they, they are actually hiding uh, an interesting uh, part of the roof uh, of the floor, which is here, is where Caviglia um, excavated um, the, the the floor, and they are actually covering and sitting on top of the stone uh, the, that was that now is there, but it's not an original stone, you know. 
they just covered the Caviglia, Caviglia's excavation of the ground. Um, what is this? Uh, the mouth of the air channel in the south wall of the... Ah, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, we have two shafts in the queen, in the king's chamber. You have the north and the south. The north is the one 20, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, like very squared. And this was quite, uh, <laughs> quite uh, broken uh, by somebody. Uh, it's the first time I actually see this picture. It's the first time I actually, um, we have indication of such, uh, such, a, such, a, um, you know, of this broken piece, okay, uh, of the of the chamber. Uh, who did this? I don't know. Maybe Caviglia. I don't know. But maybe, yeah, <laughs> somebody in the modern times, probably, right? Uh, because the the shafts were not known uh, until not they not they were not known even by by Al Mamun. So somebody, you know, in the last uh, what three four hundred years did this. So probably Caviglia, right? <laughs> we always blame Caviglia. Um, so this is, you know, the north shaft, and this is the entrance to the king's chamber. And this is probably the wife of one of well, both uh, John or Morton. <laughs> um, yeah, you see here, you see here, this is the, the stone floor missing, okay? There is something inside here, but yeah. So that was taken out by Caviglia uh, and he explored this area. Uh, that's why, you know, I was saying they were hiding the, the, the spot. Um, so they, they went to, to the trouble of actually this, like drawing all the sections of all the pyramid that they, all, all of the major pyramids that were still in place and visible. Uh, yeah, you can see, you can see the Great Pyramid and you can see the anomaly that the Great Pyramid represents in relation to all the other pyramids, right? Look how complicated is the design of the Great Pyramid compared to, other, to the others. Uh, so, which raised the question, do we, do we really know everything about the other pyramids? Are there, do we really believe that we don't have anything else to discover in the other pyramids? Uh, which I'm gonna tell you about this uh, in another video because they did the scan pyramid project not just in the Great Pyramid but also in the other pyramids. So 22 minutes of video, maybe we can go quite uh, more fast and go to what's relevant. Well shaft, the mouth of the well shaft in the in the Grand Gallery, and uh, so we see this was not was probably not. This was probably plugged and then somebody just broke and discovered the well shaft like this. So, um, so it was, you know, it's not left as it was uh, designed, right? Uh, and this is actually the picture, but it's very, it's not really easy to, 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 to watch it. Um, so yeah, this is the mouth of the well shaft on the gun gallery. And the well, guys, this is a whole episode on its own. I don't know what the well shaft is, uh, given all the information we already had. And I don't know what the grotto is, you know. We just know that they, there is this sand on top of, the, you know, the roof is made by like sand and, 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 uh, and, and, uh, and earth. And then there is this well, uh, which was done with these stones. And it's very much vertical, and then <laughs> this granite block there for some reason, and then the well shaft goes down, and it's just a complicated, complicated matter. And this is the very on the only picture we I think it's the only one of the really few pictures we have of the well shaft and the grotto. Okay, so what to make of this? I don't know. But this is uh, for another video. We're already. <laughs> Uh, 24 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to uh, make it too long. This video. So this is the mouth of the uh, of the horizontal passage that leads to the king, to the queen's chamber. Uh, something happened here to the sides of these uh, walls. Uh, I don't know what happened uh, and why. Probably because you remember uh, Petri said that this was plugged, so that's why maybe they broken these pieces of wall. But I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah, amazing picture. 
this is in the horizontal passage to the Queen's Chamber and you can see the difference in level between the passage and the actual chamber itself and uh, this part of the floor was probably removed by somebody let's say it was Cavilla <laughs> no I don't know I don't know but yeah uh, very great picture of the niche of the Queen Chamber um, yeah uh, what to make of this also it's, uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mystery what this niche represents um, oh yeah this is the very first picture of the I think this is the north shaft of the Queen's Chamber and uh, you can see this was uh, you know opened by Dixon in 1872 this is where they f he found the relics okay oh and this is the section they did so you see the descending uh, passage rep is the representation of evil in the world and the grand gallery is the gospel age and then the, the ascending passage is the Jewish age like it's it's a, it's great it's great this this section is great uh, <laughs> it's just great uh, ah you see this is this uh, I don't know why there are three I thought there were four um, of these vertical uh, elements of the ascending passage uh, but yeah so I mean they, they represent four in the plan don't they yeah, yeah so here they represent one two three four but then in the section they represent three so I don't know I don't know why but yeah I don't want to make this too long so yeah uh, if you like the video like the video and uh, if you like to subscribe please do and yeah I see you soon with um, probably let me know if you want uh, we can do Gil Dormion which uh, he discovered the chamber on top of the horizontal passage of the Maidun pyramid and we, we, we can talk about what he did in the Great Pyramid uh, or we can just jump into Gantenbrink I just don't understand why we have a huge gap between these guys the Edgar brothers and Gantenbrink which is like 90 years of difference and we don't have much happening in the Great Pyramid of Giza in terms of discoveries like if you know any, anyone that is really relevant to what we are doing please let me know uh, but I, I think the next it's either Dormion or Gantenbrink so we are very close to 2023 See you soon guys and thank you for watching the video, this is a very long one, <laughs> I know, bye bye.